Welcome to John's Shredding Tips. Um, this week we're going to delve into the um, hidden potential of the brown note. Um, for a little history, the brown note actually dates back to the time of the, the like Gregorian chants. Um, certain choirs of men, uh, they ate a lot of raw lamb meat, um, which made their testicles descend low. Um, to give them kind of the deepest octave range possible. And, um, and it wasn't until 1971 when um, the brown note was discovered on the guitar uh, by, um, believe it or not, Kip Winger's father, uh, Michael Winger, who never passed on uh, his knowledge to his son um, of Winger fame. Uh, there's still like legal stuff going. I don't know, legal stuff going on with that. But um, uh, so like on the guitar, the lowest string is the E. Um, we can also drop down to a D tuning. Um, a lot of bands use the D tuning because they think it's cool. Um, and uh, once you go, detuning is about as low as you can get. It, once you get lower, um, well the lowest decibel lev level we can hear with the human ear is, is zero. Um, beyond that is inaudible. I think it's more felt than heard. Um, although there is an in-between, uh, and that's that in between is where the brown note lies. Um, you have to be careful because uh, if you don't, it's there's a fine line between the brown note and the deep brown note. And if you hit the deep brown note, that's the one that um, can uh, like void your bowels or induce labor. Um, so we will go to the brown note, and uh, I'll give you an example. Okay, so here we are, um, I've reached the brown note stage, um, and this is, it's just above the deep brown note, so this is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 